Welcome to the JTV Caribbean News, I'm Sean Rose. Barbados' fiscal consolidation efforts could soon mean the loss of 3,000 public sector jobs, Finance Minister Chris Sinclair announced this week. The proposed cuts, part of a wider fiscal consolidation program, would be done over the period from January to March of 2014. The job cuts would be to the central government and statutory entities. The country's cabinet has also agreed to a strict program of attrition across the central public service, filling posts only where it is absolutely unavoidable over the next five years ending 2018-2019. According to the minister, the attrition is expected to reduce central government employment from around 16,970 to 14,612 jobs over that period, a projected loss of 2,358 posts. Barbados is currently undergoing serious economic problems. An IMF mission that concluded this week said the country faced considerable economic challenges. Late last month, ratings firm Standard & Poor's downgraded the country's credit rating, warning that the country had fallen back into a recession. As tensions over a citizenship ruling continue between Haiti and the Dominican Republic, the two countries took time to hold talks in Caracas. Haiti President Mikel Martelly and Dominican Republic President Danilo Medina met on Tuesday, December 17, to hold what the Dominican government called frank and cordial dialogue during the Alba and Petrocarib summit. In a statement, Medina's office said both sides considered it essential to resume dialogue over the controversial constitutional court ruling in the Dominican Republic that effectively strips more than 200,000 Dominicans of Haitian descent of their nationality. Both countries have decided to invite Venezuela, the European Union and CARICOM to accompany them in this process of dialogue, the Dominican government said. The two sides also agreed to create a high-level commission, which will include five members from each country, to organize an agenda going forward. The Trinidad-based Caribbean Public Health Agency, CAFA, said Tuesday that for the first time, locally acquired cases of chikungunya have been detected in the region. CAFA said it had recently received notification of 10 confirmed cases of the chikungunya virus infection on the French side of the Caribbean island of St. Martin. Chikungunya is a viral disease carried mainly by the Aedes aegypti mosquito and causes a dengue-like sickness. Symptoms include a sudden high fever, muscle pain, headache, nausea, rash and severe joint pain in the wrist, ankles or knuckles. Symptoms last 3 to 10 days, and severe cases requiring hospitalization are rare. Currently, there is no evidence of cases on the Dutch side of St. Martin or in other parts of the Caribbean. According to CAFA, there is no vaccine or treatment for chikungunya, which has affected millions of people in Africa and Asia since the disease was first recorded in 1952. Grenada police have urged churches to be much more vigilant, especially over the Christmas season after religious buildings were targeted by thieves in recent weeks. Head of the Community Relations Department of the Grenada Police Force, Rebecca Jones, said the law enforcement authorities have noted that over the past six months, thieves have been breaking into churches and stealing musical instruments, sacramental wines and even candles. She said the police are not certain whether or not there is an underground market for musical instruments, but urged church administrators to ensure that their buildings are properly secured. Seaborne Airlines has reached an agreement with Puerto Rico to relocate its corporate headquarters from St. Croix in the U.S. Virgin Islands to San Juan, Puerto Rico, as part of a multifaceted arrangement. Under the agreement, Puerto Rico will take an equity position in the airline and have two seats on the board of directors of the parent company of Seaborne, Coastal International Airways. Seaborne Airlines has committed to the creation of 400 jobs in Puerto Rico. Seaborne will also add a number of routes important to Puerto Rico's tourism and export growth. On December 12, the carrier started service from Puerto Rico to the Dominican Republic. 
Flights will begin to St. Kitts and Nevis soon and in March a new service from San Juan to St. Martin. Seaborne anticipates having a fleet of 16 Sabs 340B 34-seat aircraft based in Puerto Rico. The agreement to relocate from St. Croix to Puerto Rico also calls for rebranding of Seaborne's San Juan-based operations. The move is contemplated to be completed by March 2014. Jamaica's Tessan Chin has won the fifth season of NBC's The Voice. Chin emerged best out of the two other finalists to win the primetime show, a singing competition led by music stars including Christina Aguilera, Adam Levine and CeeLo Green. She bested finalists Will Chaplin and Jackie Lee to take the crown. Chin had been stunning audiences with her renditions over the past four weeks and crowned her success on Monday night with her rendition of the late Whitney Houston's hit, I Have Nothing. Jamaica's Prime Minister Portia Simpson-Miller Wednesday led the praises for singer Tessan Chin, who won herself a record deal with Universal Music and the first prize of US$100,000. The Jamaican Prime Minister said, By being the voice, you have joined the ranks of a long list of outstanding Jamaican achievers. Your victory will now serve to set the new standard for others to follow. Jamaica is planning a celebration for Tessan Chin's return to the island. The 28-year-old Jamaican reggae fusion singer from Kingston has previously worked with Jimmy Cliff and opened for Patti LaBelle, among other stars. For the JTV Caribbean News, Sean Rose. And coming up next on JTV News. CCT prepares to roll out the real 4G, promising customers the latest technology. With 7,000 cruise visitors expected on Christmas Day, Director of Tourism is encouraging businesses to stay open. At the Adina Donovan Home for the Elderly celebrate a family affair. HLSCC Christmas Concert rocks the audience and features student choir for the first time. And what would you like for Christmas? JTV News heard some very interesting Christmas wishes from residents. 